in. 11th play of the drive. McNamara swings at the court. Blockers out in front. He's at the 10. He's at the pylon. He's in for a Michigan touchdown. To find a way to beat Ohio State. Blake Corum brings it out. Good return. Getting better all the time. Blake Corum is tough to catch in the open field. All the way down to the 20 yard line before he's finally knocked out of bounds. Jake Myrtle saved a touchdown. See it from the reverse angle. Beautiful blocks. Find the seam. Don't let the punter tackle you, Corum. And then try to run away from everybody. He's waiting for some blockers. Points out of that return. And they're going to play conservative. And Corum bobbing and weaving his way. And Ronnie Bell. And yet here they are with the football back in Blake Corum. Got a terrific first half. Really pay attention to the end of this half and second half is how well are we playing as we get tired Corum hurdles across the 50 yard line counts 12 times and the commitment to doing that as the players have been a focus of their offseason we don't need to be patient let's continue to put our foot on the gas Corum again ninth play of the drive Corum reverses field he's at the five yard line down to about the four i'm out about that play on third down Corum bounces it outside. Corum looking for the end zone again. He's got another Michigan touchdown. Corum, and this ball is handed off dead behind that center. Vision cut. Make a guy miss. BYOB, be your own blocker. Put 26 on skates. A little LT into the end zone. Hey, well, this guy can make all the throws. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care if you can make all the throws. You got to make the right throw at the right time. On third down and six, big hole, and Corum gives them first and goal as he goes down to the three-yard line. Look Huge out. hole for Corum. Goodbye. The one play after the fake punt gets them the first down. Corum goes 67 for a Wolverine score. Watch the block by the center. The start is he's going to come out here. The tight end, Schoomaker absolutely demolish their side of the line and then the speed of Corum surprises the free safety and Michigan answers with a touchdown Big Ten didn't start playing games until November Michigan went two and four here's Corum Corum down the sideline almost took it to the house again Corum that was the seventh play of the drive. They have all been running plays. They're just running it down the throats of this proud Husky defense. Shift into the pistol. It's Corm running left. Great work by that offensive line. And a Michigan touchdown. Second of the night. Both scored by Blake Corum. This one from seven yards out. Third down and six. Finally a pass from McNamara. Catch by Corum and a first down. I'm happier. He just, he's full of joy. He loves his players, loves his coaches. His family's in a great place. I've, I've, we had fun with him all summer. I just think he's having the time of his life right now with these guys. Blake Corum gets Michigan another first down. You hear it's a 14 point lead for Michigan. And the Wolverines have a first and 10 of the Washington 17. Blake Corum. Saying, hey, I'm not the speedy one <laughs> exclusively. I also have some power. Hold the line of scrimmage, which was the most impressive thing today. Blake Corum has the first down. First and goal inside the five. Step up to take the place of Ronnie Bell. There's Corum with another touchdown. These multiple tight ends. Watch Horningford, number 84. Watch the other tight end. Eric All come across the formation, just outstanding blocking by those tight ends. They've played two at times, three at times. On second and ten between the tackles, finding some space. Down inside the five goes Blake Corum, the sophomore. He's the lightning. Haskins is the thunder. We are a leading wide receiver this year, so expectations rising for Johnson. Now Bell obviously out the entire year with that torn ACL that he suffered. McNamara 
getting it out wide as they split Corum to the left and Corum takes it inside the five yard line. Corum follows all and gets right into the end zone for another Michigan rushing touchdown. O-line tight ends doing a great job creating gaps. Here's the 12th run of the day and breaking free Blake Corum. Yeah, you got tight end coming around. We mentioned how important they are. Eric Ball comes over, but Corum just shrugging off the tackles, keeping his feet. That's that gap scheme that I mentioned. It means that the guards pulling, tight ends pulling around, trying to create angles, paring down the play calling, making it really physical on the guys whenever they're in pads. It's definitely paying off. Corum made one man miss. Stiff arm. First down. Going to get his reps. As a competitor, of course you're frustrated. You want to stay in the game, but... Look at this. The electric speed of Blake Corum. He turns on the afterburners and goes all the way to the end zone. Tight roping the sideline, 51 yards. Make sure he stays in bounds. Look at that. Excellent. Footwork and excellent camera work by our crew. Getting that look down the sideline. And Blake Corum finishing at the tape. Trying to guide the Michigan Wolverines into the end zone yet again. Over the top, ball dropped. But once he across, yes, they'll say touchdown. He's across. Again, outstanding job camera crew getting those angles but you see there elevating only Boston College has been better on third down defense in the country than Rutgers so far this year third and eight is a running play through a big hole and Corum has the first down and more it's ancient history now Michigan it's already scored twice McNamara fired to Blake Corum who had the first down the field. Still leading by seven. Blake Corm finally some running room. And he went out of bounds. Outgained, and yet they've led the entire game. And they have a chance to seal it with the drive here. Wow. Well, Corum almost broke yep. free to the house. Drew Singleton, the last man to stop that one. Here they come. McNamara. He's got to get it off. McNamara throws. It's Corum. And Corum They played a clean and efficient football game. The quarterback in again, J.J. McCarthy will get some burn. Down the sides. I guess that's not sad. It looked delicious. <laughs> Michigan from its own 10, Blake Corum. But it's good. It's good, but just not the same. Well, against Wisconsin late in the game last week. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off. Blake Corum. Spins around, breaks free from two defenders, and picks up the first down. One minute to go in the half. Again, that running back wide open in the middle of the field, and Corum did well, although they say he did not get out of bounds. McNamara needs to look to the middle of the field. They try to surprise him with the run, and they do. Blake Corum inside of the 20 and wow. thrown down near the 15. He's not going to put the ball at risk. Yep. There you see the block by the center, Bastardus, 68, and the block by Schoonmaker, 86, and they caught the Nebraska defense by surprise on that third down run. Is out at least for this play. Blake Corum. It has been one of the wildest Saturdays that we can remember in college football, and that continues tonight. Blake Corum has arrangement. The great that the number two quarterback gets a lot of reps. Here's Corum. Corum with a burst of speed. Touchdown, Michigan. And the Wolverines go back on top. Number 44, he gets kind of frozen here. He, he kind of gets flat footed, he gets frozen. Good blocking on the perimeter by the tight ends and the wide receivers. When we talked to Eric Chenander, the defensive coordinator in Nebraska, one of the things he said, when I watch Michigan,